sometimes it can be hard to say, I disagree. But a local doctor and his wife are encouraging you to do just that. Now, Dr. Patrick Flynn of The Wellness Way is here with his wife, Christy, to share their personal story, talk about their new book and event coming up. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Dr. Flynn, let's start with you. Have you tell us a little bit about your book, I Disagree, and yep. the title kind of says it all, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yes, it's kind of sets the stage because uh, 20 years ago when I met this beautiful woman, um, she suffered from a lot of health conditions, and she'll tell you about that. And, uh, and, I, and I, when, when I heard what she was going through and the, what they gave her as a diagnosis and what their protocol and what their procedures were going to be, I just said I disagree with what they assessed with her and because her future didn't look good. And I said, listen, there's, got, there's going to be a different way, that, and we create a different way, and, and of course, then we have a beautiful story through the process. Sure. Now, how is this approach to health different? Well, it, it, we, we kind of have a very different approach because our current system really depends heavily on drugs and surgery. And, uh, and once again, and some of them are needed, but the, that's the standard of care for most people. And the sad part is, is we just end up on it for a long period of time. So we came along and said, listen, there's a reason why she had what she had, and then we're going to kind of dig deep and not just manage it. And most conditions are managed today instead of actually getting to resolve because most people don't realize that a lot of conditions can be resolved, but most people live with them or manage and treat them their whole life. Well, Christy, let's hear from you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your story. What were you going through? And just kind of devastating news in a place that I've been into is that you were told that you weren't going to be able to have children. And now we have beautiful pictures of your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, growing up, I dealt with a lot of different health conditions and they just progressively got worse, especially as I got into college. Mm -hmm. I ended up with migraine headaches and cystic acne, ulcerative colitis, endometriosis, mm -hmm. like all of those different things. And I literally felt like all of my organs were slowly shutting down. Yes. And um, I mean, the, the diagnosis, you know, like you said, not being able to have kids. And I literally thought, you know, okay, may I have to adopt? I, I, I didn't have any, they weren't giving me any um, prognosis that was looking sure. forward to having children. So then I meet this guy <laughs> and he meets me when I'm like doubled over in pain. You know, it's mm -hmm. cycle time. Mm -hmm. um, and he said, you're going to be just fine. And I, it was the first time anyone <laughs> ever said, you're going to be just fine. And, yeah. and so I hadn't gotten any, I mean, we went, I went the medical route and I didn't get any different answers or different treatments or anything like that. And so, um, I looked at him and I'm like, okay. And I started, we started doing things very differently. He disagreed and I never looked back. Sure. Right. What do you hope readers get from this book? Well, hope. That's the biggest thing because oh. chronic illness over the last 20 years or over the last 50 years continues to rise at a, at a rapid rate. Even though we have more doctors, hospitals, drugs, research spent, and, and healthcare and costs keep going up, yet we still get sicker every year. So, and if we, on that path, we're going to be back here 20 years with a different book said, I told you so. I mean, the fact that, guess what? It's going to continue on this path, so we need people to think differently, and that's the whole purpose of the book. It gives you hope, but it gets you to think differently on healthcare, just in life in general, because if we stay on that same path, we're going to end up down a very sick path. We have some photos of past seminars that you've given, and you yes. have, a, you have a, an event coming up. It's a book yep. release and an event, and there's also what, really a celebration. It's a yes. VIP event, but anybody can yes, go to that, too. Mm -hmm. But let's talk a little bit about what's happening on Friday, May 17th. Yeah, well, it was kind of neat because the book already, we, the e version came out about two weeks ago and became a number one bestseller on yeah. Amazon and within 24 hours. Fast. And <laughs> it was kind of cool, and it spread to 12 different countries. And so we, the publisher wanted us to have a, a very big, large event, but obviously we're Green Bay proud, so we wanted to hold it here. Yeah. We don't want to hold yeah. the big Mets policies, and we don't hold it right here in local Green Bay. So we teamed up with a great church, uh, Life Church, and to hold the venue of all the people that are coming, and we're going to launch the book. I'm going to give you a, just a, a, a seminar, a little tidbit of it that way to, to show people and give them started on their path uh, to a better way of thinking and a better journey of health. And if people are maybe a little skeptical, I mean, this is a great place because, you know, there are going to be people out there. Yep. This is a great place oh, so. to hear a personal story and yes. see a success story. Yes. You know, you're not committing to anything by just coming and yep. learning more about it. Yep. And that's the thing. And, and, and really, her story started the whole process. But we have hundreds there's of thousands so of stories. stories. And there's been people there that were told that they could never have children. They went through in vitro. They went through everything, spent sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000, and now have a lot of kids. And uh, there's other stories you're going to hear just from people that are there from from what happens on yeah. their journey because they stepped back and they looked at their doctor, their current said, I disagree with what you're telling me, doc.
Well, congratulations yes. on your family. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Let's take a look at the details. The I Disagree book event and launch is Friday, May 17th. It all starts at 5.30 at Life Church on Lawrence Drive in De Pere. A VIP party starts at 9 o'clock at Exchange E. E eatery. Eatery, okay, I wasn't <laughs> sure, on Main Avenue in De Pere. For more information and a link to register, head to thewellnessway.com. Thanks to you both. Thank you. Thank you.